Hi, it's Chris from Extend. I'm going to show you how to set up Google Merchant Center. First of all, go to Google forward slash merchants and it'll take you to the Merchant Center login. You'll need a Google account. If you haven't got one, you can create one. And if you have, just type in your email address and your password and click sign in. Here we are at the Merchant Center. First thing you need to do is choose your location. Click Continue. And then you need to agree to the terms of service. Scroll to the bottom of the screen, tick the radio button, and click on Continue. Now you need to configure your account you have to fill in all the fields and scroll to the bottom of the screen, click on save updates and that's pretty much it, your Google Merchant Center is set up. First thing to do, add a data feed from the menu on the left click on data feed, come over here, click on new data feed and I'm going to show you a quick way to add a product so you click on the guidelines link in the middle of this screen and on there you'll see there's a link to sample.xls it's just there click on that and it'll download a sample Excel file with some products in it so I'm going to open that in Microsoft Excel takes a little while to open and then I think we'll move that screen over a bit so you can see it. First thing to do is save the file. I'm just going to save it onto my desktop. I'm going to rename it too so it's just products.xls. That's done. I only need one product, so I'm going to delete these three rows and then type in my details into this row here. That's a product title, product description, and you want to make the product description uh, keyword rich, so whatever keywords you think people are searching, make sure they're in your description. This field here is the link to your website for the page where the product is. spell that right, it will be there. There are some fields you have to fill in, like the price. You don't have to fill in brand. You do have to fill in condition. You can add an image link if you want to, and these few fields at the end, we don't need those. So we can save that, and we can get out of Excel. So if we go back to the Merchant Center, and I can add a data feed. So I'll tell it the name, which is products.xls. Save my changes. And now I can manually, manually upload that file. Click on the manual upload link. Choose the file from the desktop. There it is, products.xls open that, upload and process this file and my Google Merchant Center should be ready fairly soon.